Hey guys, I'm Janis Rauschke. Right now I'm uh, in Vietnam, Saigon, for three months of working. Usually in Germany, after work, I go to the gym, I play video games. But here I just go to the gym and meet some colleagues afterwards. So there's still a little bit of time left. And so I thought, well, let's show you how Vietnam is, how working in Vietnam is, and especially how the lifestyle in Vietnam is. It's not gonna be too professional, but well, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, so right now I'm at the end of my first day on Con Dao, a little island located southwest of uh, Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City, whatever you call it. And it's really nice here. I, I know I always say it's nice and amazing, but it really is. That's just how it is. Um, I started my day at like three o'clock, no, a little bit later, and our plane uh, went off at six o'clock. And 40 minutes later, we, we landed on Kandao. And the joy began with the landing, honestly, because no, the joy be began for the landing because uh, the plane was like half empty or half full, whatever you call it. So uh, Max, Stefan and I were all able to choose a row where we could be at the window. And I will show you the, the, the landing. It's so nice because you, you fly over the beach and you land. It's because actually the landing area, the landing street, I know it has a special name, but I, the, the, the air, airfield, the airfield um, is between the water, basically. So you start with a beach and you end with a beach, kinda. After we landed and got from the airport to the hotel, it's an Airbnb, it's really nice, it's uh, from a local, it's local run and I'm gonna show you more of it obviously. But after we went there, we got ourselves some scooters for uh, 120,000 RMB per day and we're here for three days so it's kind of cheap. And we went to the beach, which was really really nice. And then later on we decided to take a quick um, quick ride around the island because it's not so big to some sightseeing places. And on our way there we first passed uh, a big lake which a road was going through. So the lake, the lake was separated and there were uh, sea roses, I think it's called sea roses, I, I, I don't know, uh, on the sea and it's on the lake and it's really really nice again. And then we just kept on driving and then a little bit later we saw a temple, uh, Hinduism temple I think, but I'm not too sure, a Hinduism temple and we were like okay let's go up there. It was on a hill but we didn't really know where, it, uh, where the entrance was so we just kept driving around the the hill and then we finally found the entrance and There's up there I actually saw my first wildlife ever monkeys they were just chilling around on the ceiling and actually <laughs> playing with each other and it was really nice and also the the temple itself had a night uh, had a ceremony going on right now I think that's how you call it and I'm gonna I'm just gonna show you the the footage honestly so you can see it for yourself Thank you. 
Ich hab's fest. Then later we just kept on driving around the island and it has breathtaking use because the first part of the drive was through jungle and there were actually animals just walking on the street like cows, cows, uh, hawks, also monkeys again, but I don't think I caught them on footage, I'm not too sure, I don't know, I, I can't remember. Just a lot of animals just strolling around on the street and casually chilling. And then there was a part where we were like not a, really a cliff, but on the one side, on one side, on our left hand side, we had the sea and well, it was going down, so kind of was a cliff. On the uh, cliff on, an, on the right side, we had a mountain, so it's really nice and really curvy. Just gonna show you the footage again. And yet again, we just kept on riding and then we, we managed to go on another street, which was like a so slippery, not really a road. And we went down there and there was like some hidden gem beach. It's really nice, we didn't swim there, but we took some pictures. Later on on our drive, we also went to the port. First the little fishing port and then the bigger port with, I don't know, boots and also a ferry, I think. Just gonna show you the footage again. And yeah. So as you can tell everything has been really nice so far as I've depicted it so yeah but there's also like this huge scrapyard on the other side of the island we went by we passed and they were just burning loads huge loads of junk and it didn't it didn't really smell good at all but well somewhere the the garbage has to go the garbage has to go somewhere and unfortunately they are not so much into separating here. You can also see, if you watch closely, that there's quite often just garbage laying around on the street and nobody's taking care of it. So that's it. There's also downsides to everything, obviously. So people don't, don't litter. It's not good. Right now you might be wondering where I am. I'm on the balcony of our Airbnb and this room back there this is where Stefan Max and I sleep and yeah it's really nice and right behind me like you can't see it right now but I'm gonna show you some uh, day footage there's the jungle it's there right there What's also quite nice, uh, once we arrived here at the Airbnb, our local host just gave us some dragon fruit. It's super sweet. I like it. It's not too sweet. It's honestly, it's just a little bit sweet, but it really tastes good. You have you have to try it for yourself if you get the chance. And we took a quick nap uh, because we only slept like three hours in this night so we took a quick nap after our scooter tour and usually uh, no for originally we had planned to go snorkeling so diving without not scuba diving just diving with a snorkel uh, but the weather was not so good so we just went for a quick swim at the beach and also from there the, the view is really nice <laughs> I just keep on repeating the word nice you should give me suggestions for other words than nice or amazing or astonishing because I think that's all the words I use so there's a storm rising and or at least it's getting cold and the wind picked up a lot so we will be leaving the beach now that's very nice
Hey guys, so it's been a long day. Uh, it's been our second day on Kandao, and I am right now chilling in our, well, now Airbnb run by a local. You remember this, this nice mirror? Um, today we went hiking. First we had a good we had a good uh, breakfast in this very room. I'm gonna show you the footage obviously. Then we went hiking to like through the channel over the hill. So we started like here, then we went over the hill, which is jungle all over, to the other side of the island, which is basically here, to a well a little bay with a very astonishing beach and we spent quite some time there also there's a nice waterfall and the jungle I've never been to the jungle before and it's like one of those when you go to the zoo those uh, tropic houses with all the, the plants and stuff it's like that but more like it's it's already really humid in, uh, in Vietnam itself, um, but the jungle, it's way more, the, the humidity is insane. It's like in those tropical houses, and there's uh, a lot of very nice nature, obviously, like very nice trees, and like uh, cur curly trees, <laughs> or or spaghetti trees, uh, so noodle trees, spirelli trees, um, <laughs> which are quite <laughs> quite uh, nice to look at, and also a lot of wildlife. I'm gonna show you all the footage I got, and I'm just gonna start it like right now, and I won't talk to it. Just embrace the jungle. It's also about the the sound. It's a totally different feeling, and I. I can't really transport it through the camera, but it's the best I can do, so please enjoy. It's been like, I don't know, 300 meters, me 400, 20 minutes, no, and I'm already dripping. See that? Don't think you really see it, but yeah, now you see it. It's so fucking hot. It's not too hot, it's the humidity. It's insane. Das ist ein Krustentier, Mann. Das ist eine Krabbe ist oder irgendein anderes. Und da chillt der Lego.
dass das ein Zeichen ist, dass die Raketen kurz bald losgehen. Ne? Ja, da schaut er. Hallo. Ich hab jetzt kurz einen Baum hoch und ihr macht Tricks, okay? At our Airbnb, we, we didn't have time at all uh, because we were already running late. Um, because we made kind of an appointment, not really an appointment, but we wanted to go uh, not diving but snorkeling with our host here and we wanted to go there earlier, uh, but we were kind of late, so we just got our stuff and drove off to the seaside, to the coast. And right at the shore, we snorkeled. Yet again, I'm just gonna show you the footage. I'm not gonna talk about it, but like, there were some fish, there were a lot of corals, but no, it's not so shiny ones. And yet again, just enjoy it. guys I hope you like the video so far um, I'm recording this while cutting it and I just want to answer some comments so Halvar uh, asked me about some of my experience here and what I want to do I'm just gonna ask uh, say the question the first question was have you made the same experience like I did with people approaching you because of your looks and wanting to take photos 
actually uh, not taking photos, but approaching me, yes. So a lot of people approach me. Well, not a lot. Compared to Stefan, for example, who's a little bit blonder than me, uh, he gets approached a lot. And yeah. Um, what is the weirdest stuff you've eaten so far and have you set yourself some things you still want to taste? So I've already eaten some seafood like uh, cra not craken, squid, squid, calamari. I don't know if this is an English word, but squid. Um, then shrimp. Well, we have shrimp too in the, uh, in Germany. So um, then a lot of fruits I didn't know before, but uh, they're really not weird. They're just really great. Um, I actually ate frog today, but it tastes good and it was not so much difference to other meat. I don't know. Um, I was I, I'm uh, and what do I still want to taste? Uh, I'm thinking about making a video where I buy a lot of uh, different fruits and just taste them with maybe a bunch of friends, so I don't waste any food. Uh, let me know what you think about that idea. Um, how many people speak English and how are you communi communicating with people? Well, at work everyone speaks English and it's very easy to communicate with them. Um, when we go to places or even just eating in the street in Saigon, uh, oftentimes they barely speak English or don't speak any English at all, though sometimes they do it, but mostly not. Um, well, usually you just uh, sign that you want to eat something and it's very easy to, to just sit down there. They will say, uh, sit down, or they will, want, they will say it, but you won't understand it, but um, they will guess it as well. So it's not really a problem. So yeah, and uh, paying, they, they just show you the amount you have to pay on a calculator or they show it with uh, you with their own bills. <laughs> so, yeah, with their own notes. Also, I need, I want to have your feedback on how you like this video so far. And if you liked it, please consider dropping a like and even subscribing. And also, I'm thinking about maybe doing uh, changing a little bit how I'm cutting this stuff. Because right now, um, I'm really scared of making too long videos. I've, uh, I think this video is going to to be like 30 minutes and I for myself I don't know if I would click a 30 minute video so I'm really holding myself back but I have a lot of footage so uh, if you guys want to see more stuff just let me know but I'm afraid uh, it's not going to be good so right now I'm in between so just let me know what you want also uh, do you prefer me talking for like 10 minutes, no not really 10 minutes, but 2 or 3 minutes and then have all the footage or do you like it uh, as it is right now, I talk and show footage during this time and then afterwards just let me know your ideas, any critique, whatever, throw it at me, please. Hey guys, uh, it's been a lovely day, we spent half of the day at the beach, like first we slept in obviously. <laughs> Uh, to recover from our jungle drift trip and then we just drove to the six senses beach first which is um, well we, we couldn't actually access it but we took some pictures from above it and it's an historic site so it has a lot of um, during during I don't know if it was Vietnam War or something, but it's a place where a lot of people were killed. So you don't actually swim there; it's just uh, a site to visit. So yeah, then we drove uh, off to the beach near the the airport, and <laughs> it was a lovely time we had there, but. To get there, we had to drive through jungle. So first, we were like, okay, we, we looked at Google Maps, and well, 
there was a road. So we started driving and then we figured, oh my God, it's jungle. And we drove off uh, through the jungle. There were, there were um, sheep, not sheep, the sheep with horns. I, I, I don't know the name, I forgot it. And also um, hawks, wild hawks. And from time to time there were spots uh, with sand, with a lot of sand, like small hills with sand. Uh, so we, we lost traction from time to time. And at some point we couldn't keep on driving and we had to basically go on a really, really small trail, uh, which was not fully developed. And we ended up at the beach. Oh, we also saw some chicken. So yeah, nice. And the beach was, we were basically alone. So one time there, there was a group of three people that passed us, but it was like a really, really big beach just for us. And the weather was lovely, the waves are nice, and also it's a very swallow beach, I think that's how you say it. So you could basically walk in forever and your head would still stick out of the water. Um, so then afterwards we came home and we had a really, really bad sunburn. I think you can see it on my nose uh, and my arms. I don't know if you can see it, but here you can see it for sure. I don't know, maybe you can't. But I have a really bad sunburn, even though we applied a lot of sunscreen and after that a lot of after sun. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Um, And then in the evening we went to a restaurant, ate some good food and had a really great time. We also went back to the beach, well, well to, to the ocean. Um, there is a beach but we didn't go there, we went to the pier and at the end of the pier there's um, some rocks and stones, so there's water next to it and there are rats. They're living there. I'm just going to show you the footage. Um, but they didn't bother us at all. So, yeah. Um, I think that pretty much sums it up uh, our time on Kondao. We didn't do everything you can do here. So, for example, there's also, uh, the, it, it has been during the war, a prison island, which a lot of, uh, which a lot of, with a lot of cruelty and so on but we didn't visit the prison uh, because we just had a weekend and we really wanted to enjoy the beach and the nice side viewing places so yeah you could also have done that and i'm pretty sure a lot of other things but if you liked it uh, consider liking the video and if you want to see more videos about vietnam consider subscribing thank you